quick video here on how to set up SimCraft uh, and how to then use the results from SimCraft to give you an in-game indicator of gear comparisons. So let's say I want to answer the question of you know whether or not I should be wearing these these pants that I have here or these new ones that I got that are just a slightly higher item level. See, these are 840, these are 835. These are crit haste, which are my best in slot stats, but again, higher item level, maybe haste mastery is okay. And as you can see on the screen, I've got a stat score, that green text right there that indicates these are actually 0.04% better. So I'm gonna call it kind of a wash, they're about the same, but how did I get to that point where I've got that in there uh, instead of having to try and use Ask Mr. Robot to you know, import gear and do things like that. So how do we get to this point? We're gonna need a couple of things. The first thing, of course, is to download SimCraft. You can go to the website shown here, download SimCraft, it is this file right here. Once you've done that, uh, you're gonna go ahead and extract that to a folder. It's gonna look like this. And then you can just open up SimCraft.exe. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to grab, in addition to turning SimCraft on, is you can use Curse to look for an add-on called StatWeight Score. I should have that up also here. So here's the new curse. Uh, get more add-ons. Type in stat W. There's stat weight score. That's what's going to actually, we're going to take the outputs from SimCraft and put those into stat weight score, uh, the add-on. So what we do is once we uh, open up SimCraft, uh, you know, you're probably the first time you run it, it'll probably give you some kind of intro or something like that. Go ahead and skip through that. You're going to want to import your character. So to do that, we head over to this import tab, pick your realm, type in your character name, hit this import button. What that's going to do is go and scrape the Armory website to pull back all of your gear, professions, artifact, all that good stuff. So you can see all that comes in uh, and it already has pre-programmed uh, rotations that it'll simulate your character doing with your current gear and stats. The one thing we wanna do before we actually simulate though, you can see the simulate button down on the bottom right here, is to turn on the option to do scaling. So when you click this options tab up here, it'll be by default, it'll be on globals. Head over here to scaling and go ahead and enable scaling. This will be off by default, so turn this on and then pick any of the stats that are relevant for your DPS class. So for me as a unholy death knight, strength, attack power, crit rating, haste, mastery, versatility, weapon, DPS. I don't care about offhand. I don't need armor, bonus armor. I don't need any of these other main stats. Uh, so these are the ones I'm gonna be interested in simulating. Turning on all of them is fine, but it will take longer to run. So just turn on the ones that you need so that the results will come out faster. Then you head back over to simulate tab. Again, I've got this window open that is the character I just imported. You can see I've done a bunch of other imports here. And then you hit simulate. Now, this will take a couple of minutes. It's very CPU bound. Uh, so it depends on how fast your computer is, but it's gonna simulate uh, how much DPS you do with your rotation and your current gear, and then it'll start adding up and saying, okay, if you added more haste, how much more DPS would you do? How much more mastery? How much more versatility? And so on. And see how fast your DPS goes up with each of those stats. So it gives a weighting then to each one. You know, Each point of those stats is worth how much more DPS. So then when you head over to results, I've already uh, simulated myself, so you don't have to sit here and watch it. Um, what you'll look, get is a little report like this. Here's my simulated DPS, it's about 248K. Doesn't mean I will always do 248, it just means that you know, in, a, in a, a simulation, that's kind of the results for a standardized rotation. So I'll be around that number probably, and that's not too far off of what I can do in some cases, uh, depending on the fight. What I'm really interested in though, is these numbers right here, these scale factors. This right here, I'm gonna highlight the row of interest to me. Normalized scale factor says that uh, strength is worth one point, whereas haste is worth eight uh, tenths of a point of strength, right? Crit, 0.78. So haste and crit are almost equal, but then look at the sharp drop off. Versatility is not worth nearly as much. Mastery is not worth nearly as much. So there's my stat priorities. And the thing is, these change. The reason that uh, haste is worth more than crit at the moment is because I'm actually, I have tons of crit on my character moment. If I had less crit, this might actually change. So you need to, as you get new gear, rerun the simulations. Um, what we're gonna do to import this into stat weight score though, is flip over into XML mode, hit Control F and look for, oops, I could type, look for weights. 
So this is the stuff we want to copy. We're actually going to be able to copy this section from here, from weights to weights, copy that, go into World of Warcraft, go into Interface, Add-ons, Stat Weight Score, hit the plus, go to Stat Weights. If you don't have any new specs created, let's just go ahead and make a new one, for example. I already have one for Unholy here, but let's say, let's pretend I was making one for Frost, for example. Make sure you hit OK after you enter any of the fields. Um, but the nice thing is you can come down here and change this import to Simulation Craft XML. Boom. Accept. And it just copied all those in. And so these are the raw values. And it can normalize those automatically and make them so that they're out of one. Uh, and that's what, that's what this was doing here when I go back to HTML. So here's the standard scale factors. Here's the normalized scale factors. So it imported all those for me. And now, whenever I hover over, hit OK, whenever I hover over something, uh, I should get a stat weight score for Unholy and a stat weight score for Frost, because I just added a Frost one in. So now what you see is the comparison number on any new gear. So uh, this is like stuff that's clearly inferior. So you'll see I get all these stat score Unholy, stat score Frost, uh, and it's also automatically comparing... Uh, them at different item levels because this is an upgradable piece. So it's actually a really smart add-on. Uh, you can also do things like uh, choose uh, what gems to automatically simulate. You know, so if it has a socket, it'll automatically simulate with your highest stat gem. Um, and you can also set it to things like uh, you know how powerful a gem or how powerful a, um, uh, a, a an enchant to use. So you see, I've got it set to the cheap gems because it's early in the expansion and. And I'm being cheap at the moment for you know just running some casual stuff, uh, but a lot of great options like that. And again, it's just really about getting that tool tip to be relevant. So get in the habit of doing that. Anytime you get major gear changes, rerun your simulation and then re-import those in uh, with that simple copy paste from XML, copy this, import it in. Uh, and now you don't have to go back over to something like Ask Mr. Robot, which while it has some good generic uh, information isn't really catered to the exact gear you have on right now. And I think they're trying to get there uh, with some of their new features, but uh, this just kind of, it just works. A little bit of setup, and you've got it, and it's in-game. So good luck. Hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.